Hi guys, um, no, this is kind of unusual for me to do a middle of the week video, but I'm doing this as a bonus because I'm really excited about some events that just unfolded. If you remember about two or three weeks ago, during one of my videos, I said if any of you guys have any products that um, you'd like to get some exposure to, get hold of the channel and we'll review it. And if it's a good product, uh, I'd like to start doing some of these bonus features. And this week, one of my viewers uh, contacted me via email and they were excited to tell me about a new um, product that they have that uh, they think could benefit the channel. In the video that I was specifically shooting, I was showing you the interior of the cabin and showed you an area where I would like to have a TV put. Well. Oddly enough, people who live off the grid still like to have some of the luxuries that the regular homes have. And so what he contacted me specifically about, I believe it's pronounced Phenu, it's a P-H-E-A-N-O-O -O, um, company, got hold of me and they said, we have a sound system where if you purchase a TV for the cabin, you got to give this sound system a workout because it is well worth the money. So we are going to do a quick product testing of this Finu sound system and uh, we'll let you know how it, how it um, performs. If it's bad, I'm going to let everybody know that it's not real high quality. But from the reviews that I've been reading, my suspicions are I'm going to be very thrilled with it. So that's why I accepted this. So. Um, this is going to be a middle of the week video. Uh, I don't know how many of them I'm going to do, but I'm really excited to do this one, so stay tuned. Here's the product that we're going to review today. It's a Fino soundbar system. It works with any TV that you have. It comes with all the adapters, all the accessories. Everything's supposed to be within the box, so let's open it up and see what we have. folks here we are I've got everything set out in front of me let's start out with the uh, larger more obvious things uh, of course it comes with the sound bar itself which has um, a nice mesh front for the sound to come through clearly and on the sides and on the back it has a very high gloss finish and one thing I thought was pretty cool in the kit they give you these finger uh, printless gloves to go ahead and wear so that you don't leave your fingerprints all over the place. Um, those would have been good for OJ, but anyways, bad joke. Here we go with the um, subwoofer. So you can see the subwoofer is pretty sleek. Um, uh, it looks like it'd be pretty easy to hide within uh, my living room. So we'll set that back down. Um, it comes with some really cool things. It comes with some uh, pads so that you can mount them on the bottom of the sound bar. If you're putting it on top of an expensive table or a home entertainment system, you won't scratch it. And if you decide you don't want to put it on top of the entertainment system, it comes with the screws and grommets for mounting it to the wall. So you don't even have to go to the hardware store. Um, one of the things that really caught my eye right away is I don't know about you folks but I always seem to butcher the wall when I hang the TV on the wall the sound system the sound bar comes with a template so that there's no guessing on where holes need to be drilled on the wall and then two other things that came in the box is they give you a quick startup manual and an owner's manual and then we have the infamous remote. The remote is nice, small, slender, uh, pretty simple to understand. The one thing that turned me off a little bit, but it's not a big deal. It takes two AAA batteries. The batteries are nowhere to be found, but that's okay. It gives me an excuse to run to the store. I'll grab some batteries. And then lastly, three things that it comes with in the box. Or if you have an older TV, it comes with an older wire setup, 
um, to adapt the soundbar system to your TV. And if you have a newer TV, it has an optic cable that comes with it, and then also a HDMI cable. So it gives you plenty of choices, and it looks like everything you need for the, uh, for the initial setup is gonna be right here. Uh, so it looks like uh, this should be a pretty easy install. I'm gonna go ahead and install it in an interest of time. I'm not gonna bore you with me hooking this up. Uh, rather, I wanna review the product itself. So it looks beautiful. Let's put it on a TV and let's hear how it sounds. I'm already back. I can't believe how fast this was to hook up. I went and used the optic cable and um, all it is is one wire from the subwoofer into the um, sound bar and then the, the optic cable from the sound bar into the TV and then it does have its own um, uh, plug that goes into the wall outlet as well. So I kind of queued up a scene in a movie um, I hope it's at an action point in the movie, but I wanted to uh, see how the sound quality comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second to play and let's listen. It's all right. We're in position. that bass I hope the camera can pick this sound up the quality is just incredible um, let me turn this down for a minute the quality is just incredible I can feel the bass pounding off my chest um, I'm pretty impressed and uh, I can't wait to get to a more action-packed part of the video Here we go in the background, somebody just shot off their gun. I could feel the percussion coming off the back of my neck. Well, this is probably a little too violent if we have a younger crowd. So I'm gonna quick turn off the TV. I'm gonna be honest with you, I cheated. I watched a couple minutes of this before I did the review just to make sure that I had it hooked up right. Um, holy cow. The uh, volume is just crystal clear. Um, the highs are high, the lows are low. You can feel just the percussion uh, bouncing off your chest when it's an action scene. Um, and I played around with this remote a little bit. It has all sorts of neat features. Usually these sound system remotes are very standard. There's not too many uh, features that are on it. It has modes for music, it has mode for news, um, it has a mode for when you're watching movies and um, it has a 3D mode that is just awesome. When uh, we were sitting in here watching the movie, you felt like you were right in the meat of things. You had sounds going on all around you in the room. Uh, I'm shocked. I am shocked. I did not expect it to be this good. And to be honest with you, I was a little bit worried about um, doing this review because... Uh, like I said, I have to be honest when I give uh, reviews, my reputation is staked upon it. Um, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, on a scale one to 10, uh, for a budget system, I, I'd give it like a nine and a half. The only thing that I found in this whole setup uh, that would be a negative, maybe to some people, for me it doesn't uh, matter, because I have uh, my TV is up above a fireplace, but the subwoofer is not wireless. It does have a wire that connects to the sound bar, but for me, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, so for some of you, if that's gonna be a deciding factor, that is one drawback, and probably the only drawback I found out of the whole review, and uh, it, the, you know, the only other thing I guess I could really gripe about but I'm not gonna because it's not a big deal. It's just the fact that the remote didn't have batteries. 
So my overall review of this thing, it gets a two thumbs up. I'm really happy with it. If you're interested in the system, check them out on the internet and um, I'll see if I can put a link or I'll at least put the company name on the bottom here. I'd highly recommend it for anybody who's interested in upgrading their system. It really felt like I was in a theater here. So that's pretty cool.